that's what I thought a Portuguese was. Me and my brain, huh? And we're just getting started. Boy, it's not like Quagmire to be this late. No, just the two of us. I would like that. Hey, Quagmire? You in there? <gasps> Holy crap! Oh my god! He must have auto-erotically asphyxiated. Peter, we came as soon as we heard. How is he? He's in a coma, Lois. My god, what the hell happened? He hung himself during auto-erotic asphyxiation. Just goes to show anything can be dangerous. Is his family here? His sister Brenda is coming with her boyfriend. You know, we're all lucky to be alive on such a beautiful day. In fact, nurse, all surgeries are outside today. You know, when we were kids, our, our mother used to sing a song when we were sad. Maybe that'll help now. Come on, Brenda. A stupid nursery rhyme is touching my girl. Uh, relax, Jeff. That's her brother. Yeah, that's how it starts. Come on, Brenda. We gotta get out of here. I need cigarettes and jeans. Oh, thanks, you guys, for all your help through this. Oh, Cops, like you did on Christmas. No, I, I didn't call them. They were called. Oh, now you're calling me a liar in front of this cat? I got another cat. Chains. Okay, uh, I'll ask about it Monday. Can I put my nightgown back on? No, I'm not done drawing! And butter sauce! Don't boil me! I'm still alive! Iraq Lobster! Iraq Lobster! Nice to have a girlfriend to chat with. Don't you have any back home? Oh, no. Jeff would never allow that. You know, that's kind of what I want to talk to you about, Brenda. Do you mind taking off your sunglasses? <sighs> oh, my God. He's not correcting you. He's beating you. Well, I, I can see why you'd think that, because of the punches and all, but it's just that Jeff's been so angry about the immigrants. What? It'll be better when he gets back to work. Our relationship is just complicated, that's all. No, Brent. They don't need to be entertained, but then they're always like, hey, so what are we doing? What's next? Hey, Joe, can't you, can't you just arrest the guy? I can't arrest Jeff unless Brenda files a formal complaint with the police. She won't go to the police. She's afraid of what Jeff will do. And to be honest, I don't blame her. I mean, what happened? Yeah, because we care about her very much. What the? What's going on? What's all this? Brenda, this is an intervention. A lot of us don't like how Jeff's been treating you, so we're gonna say a few things, and then you'll say a few things, and then we'll be done. Sound? So, you like getting beaten, huh? Well, why don't you smoke a whole carton of cigarettes? Look, I know what you guys are trying to do, but Jeff and I are fine. No, Brenda, you're not fine, okay? B uh, please, I'd, I'd, I'd like to say something, if I may. <clears throat> Proves to me that you have made a choice to make your life worse. I, I want the girl I grew up with back. I want... I want my sister back. Uh, Brenda, I love What the hell's going on here? Listen here, you bully. For your information, Brenda just agreed to leave you. Like hell she did. Brenda, you tell him? No, not yet. Everyone, I have wonderful news. Jeff and I are getting married. Beating her, and then he's gonna beat the kid, too. God, I wish she'd never met Jeffrey Fiekelman. You know, I was thinking, wait, what? What? That's his name? Yeah. Hilarious. But you know, I was thinking this afternoon, what the hell happened to the days when a guy does something like that to a neat day? Quagmire, you're talking about murdering a guy. It doesn't matter what he's done, it's still murder. No, Joe, it does matter what he's done. Th these kinds of guys don't change. Y you think they ever suddenly wake up and realize the error of their ways and clean up their act? He's different now than he used to be, isn't it? You know, th this morning I had a bowl of Fruity Pebbles cereal. Yeah, yeah, when I was a kid, they were boulders. <laughs> <laughs> Cereals do change. Oh, now, now here's something. Here's something. We thought you might want to join us. Yeah, what the hell? Go shoot some animals. That sounds like fun. Hey, beats sitting at home watching Meg Popper zits. Ah, so, Jeff, do you like loud sentences? I guess. I gotta take a whiz. All right, look. When he comes back, I'm just gonna do it, okay? I'm just gonna point my gun straight at his head before he even knows what's going on. Kinda don't know what to do next. So now you'll forget the whole thing? Yeah, I uh, guess that is what I said. No, no, we can't forget the whole thing. Yeah, you know, he's right, we can't forget it. Fine! Now here's the plan. I'm taking Quagmire for a little ride. All right, this is far enough.
Well, Quag, yourself, man, just means you're gonna die slower. Wakey-wakey, worthless domestic. Time to make the inedible gruel. Mommy wants to rest for a few more minutes, honey. Had a doctor's appointment, then I had to pick Meg up after school. I had rehearsal for Death of a Salesman, but we're not allowed to show death at school. So now at the end, we dance around with sparklers. Peter, we really need a sec- ah, Come on, Louie, show a little compassion for once in your miserable life. All right, can of waterworks. Jackie Chan, get 302. Hey, yes! <laughs> oh. Thank you, Freddy. Yeah, you're up. Bad little car. What, what's that? What's that? You want me inside you? Peter, look at this one. It's safe and reliable and we can... It just has a drawing of an engine. But it only had one previous owner. James Bond. I'll take it. Okay, let's see what this baby can do, eh? I don't think I'd make a good Gigi either, but God help me, I was flattered. Peter, I'm upset because you never listened to me. This is Atlantic City all over again. You've got 20. Hit me. Peter. Hey, Peter. You want a menu or just the usual everything? Ah, shut up, Cleveland. Want to talk about it, champ? I afford to get a new car fixed. Why don't you just get another new car? Why don't you try a breath mint, saucy? I'm just saying that me and my associates will uh, steal your car and uh, ipso facto your insurance. Dharma, come down from there. Wow, I can't get over what a free spirit you are. <laughs> time without winking. The car was a steal. Wink. Peter. Look, Lois, we had a broken car, I did something, and now we have a new car. Look, I said I'd handle it. It was you. That's fancy and all, but I think you're bargaining for more than you can chew. You're in debt to the mob. That means they can ask you to do anything. Ain't them. I guarantee you, I am never gonna hear from those guys again. Peter. Ah! It is time to repay your favor to the Don. Ah, oh, jeez. What, what are you gonna make me do? Whack a guy, off a guy, whack off a guy, because I'm married? Silence. Big fat Paulie is in town this week to attend the wedding of my daughter. Oh, God, and you want me to shoot him twice in the head? That's sweet of you to ask. Big fat Paulie? Ah! My name's Marty, and I'm very sensitive about my weight. Big fat Polly? Ah, someone's sitting in my most favorite seat. Hmm, hey, I just got a great idea. You know, for dinner? Oh, yeah? What are we having? Oh, uh, well, I was only supposed to go to a movie with you. What's that supposed to mean? What? I mean, you know, like, like no necking. <laughs> and without calling. I am getting sick and tired of you doing everything without consulting me. And, uh, do you mind? As a matter of fact, I do, you crazy broad. <laughs> I, uh... John. I'm, I'm sorry, what finishing school did you say you went to? Yes, good heavens, who taught you how to eat, Mickey Rourke? Why do I know that name? Damn you, entertainment tonight! Hi, I'm Bob Go- Peter, I have a bad feeling about this man. He's not the kind of person I want hanging around our family. Honey, you're overreacting. Will you please just listen to me? Oh, uh, hi, Barney. This is my friend, Big Fat Polly. And, uh, this is his big fat ass. This is the problem, huh? Yeah, but it's not her fault. She just doesn't want to see me fall in with a tough crowd again. <gasps> Cavity creeps! We make holes in the teeth! We... Come on, everybody. I know it sucks, but they're just kids. Peter, how can you sleep? I was almost killed. Oh, come on, Lois. The only victim tonight. Yeah. Gotcha! <laughs> <laughs> All I gotta do is make a call. Look at this. How could you bring a mobster into your own home? Oh, boy, if you're upset now, we'll eat a rest. So I was talking to Big Fat Paulie the other day, and one thing led to another, and chap who's been touting the merits of the United European Commonwealth. Why, yes, I dare say that's the fellow. Oh, let's get him. Oh, Reginald! 
I disagree. Call off to hit on my wife. Where's the Don? The Don? I don't know what you're talking about. Ah, oh, come on. You know, the Don. The, the, the captain of the mafia. Peter, there is no such thing as... <laughs> What a miss- Talking about the mob hit. Mom's gonna get whacked? What did you do? Oh dear, there are so many people to thank. God, of course. And, um, who else? Oh, this is so unexpected. Uh, huh, another sword. Thank you, Peter. Go ahead, try it on. Didn't you see the Godfather? The Don can't refuse a favor on the day of the share our lives. Good times and bad. So? So we'll solve this problem. Wait, you mean together? Yes, because together we can do anything. Face any foe, over... Soviet Russia, Rod forks you. Why is that getting old? I don't know about this, Lois. What if something happens to you? I'm too old to start dating again. Okay, 